got the chainsaw out again. Um, got some small trees that really I could chop down, but I want to get some more use out of the chainsaw. Uh, practice some more. Just gonna wise the e uh, widen the easement a little bit. Those two small trees right there, and this smaller tree right there. There might be another one up here we do. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So, we pull the trigger all the way down, burp it once. There's the burp. Put it back down, chain brakes on. those down now I'm gonna measure them and buck them down that actually went really well I mean I know they're small but still pretty good <laughs> and yes 
I just realized that I did not wear my ear protector. <coughs> So let's see what we got here. Probably just gonna cut right there. Ten feet. That's a good length. Uh, I'm just gonna cut, like, I'll cut this top one first. And this bottom one's holding it, so then I'll come up through there afterwards. Chain brake on. Obviously, it's not holding it from this bottom, it's holding it from the top. So, we're going to have to lift up to relieve that pressure. Alright, that's uh, good to know. I probably should have checked that. Probably cut some more sticks there. I'm gonna measure this real quick because it looks like we might have a couple of 10 footers to do something with. Yeah, that one's just over 10. And then this one also, I bet I could get 10 out of it. Oh, yeah. We're more than 10 there, that's almost 13. better on my chain today than I was before.
me get some of these over there to the trailer. <coughs> I'm actually gonna turn this and put it on the trailer this way. Oh. All right. Throw him right there. Oh. Let's see what else we got. How heavy do you think this one is? Uh, 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 it's probably that's a little back heavy, but uh, that might be. That's more than 135 pounds because I lift weights and I know what 135 pounds feels like. All right. So there's a couple of 10 footers. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we got, uh, let's go ahead and limb these also just because we're out here. Actually, you probably can't see those. I'll do those in a second. Let's see what we have right here. Alright, being lazy. Use my chainsaw. Got. He's curved at the bottom right there, though. We got 10 foot right there. Well, 20 foot right there. Let me just uh, eyeball this at 20 foot. I mean, ten foot's a good length. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but ten foot sounds good to me. Just get them back here and let them stack them up, let them dry out, and do something with them later. Here. Yeah, this is this is long enough to do something with. So. 
So I'm going to just take off these branches that are sticking out. I don't know if you can hear me, I don't know if you can see me, but this a uh, little longer than 10, a little more crooked too, maybe 12 feet. All right, let's look at this guy. I'm gonna probably get a like a timber one of these. So we have a 12 foot over there. Do we want to keep doing tens or do we want a 12 out of this? Let's do uh let's keep doing 10. My biggest one is 10. Most of those are 10. Let's keep doing them at 10. Uh, need something to mark it with. <sighs> like a piece of, like some mud or something. Here, I'll just put this leaf on it at 10 feet. Now, is that gonna blow away? Yep. <laughs> I think this is how they do it. Okay, that's definitely noticeable. All right, chain brake on. underneath it wouldn't come through. There we go. All right, this is a good stout, straight, 10 foot. All right here, let's see. I'm gonna take some of the limbs off of this and drag it out a little bit. Because it's binding, I need to get a little bit at the top and uh, come up from the bottom. I didn't do that before. I wasn't thinking about that. So the compression is from top down right now. Let's see where my 10 foot is. Right, right there. And there's actually a knot there, so I don't have to mark it. It's this mark right here. I mean, this not.
10 foot post for us. This is gonna go on the cabin somehow. I don't know how yet. Or it might be like a, it might make a shed for um, firewood. Oh, that'd be good. Firewood uh, shed or like overhang, you know? All right, let's drag her down some more. Now it's gonna start to get wiggly. Now 10 here is at another branch. So it's gonna be at that branch right there. So I'll, I'll limit and then hit it. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Ah. Somebody's gonna say, hey, why aren't you just cutting the 10 foot and then dragging the next one beside it and then getting your just estimate off of that? Answer is, I, I don't have a good reason. I just didn't do that. So how about we try it one time? After, take some of the branches off of this guy. I feel so lazy doing this with a chainsaw. I usually cut stuff like this with a with a hatchet. Actually, actually do some good kindling, but I'm gonna be too tired to carry it or worry with it. Yeah, I think. Uh, let this kindling dry out over here and then come back and get it when it dry. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to cut that one. I'm just going to break the ends off and then do it that way. Going to stop disrespecting my tape measure. I think that's pretty long. I'm gonna keep it that way. Just throw this guy on here like that. I'll break off the very end. And then I don't see if you can, I can't tell if you can see, but I'm gonna do some work over here to get these branches. 
Yeah, and then I just walk the opposite way. I'm just clearing up some of these branches I just cut off of that. I'm bringing to this side. All right. So we got some things that broke off over here. There's this that looks good, but I don't know. You know what? Let's just chop it up a little bit. Got a little Y here. We can definitely do something with. Depending on how strong that Y is. I don't know if you can see, we got a we got another piece laying right back here. And not that any of this, not that any of this smaller stuff is not good, it just Dead. That looks dead. Cutting it. is 50 feet from the center. It's trapped in a dead tree. All right, I'm just gonna take these guys right here and then we'll be done with this part. This one's a little more gnarled than the others, but or twisty. But by luck would have it, it's also about dingy. So all of this stuff I'll let dry out here and come back and get it another time. See, that's dead.
All right, and for that we got, let's see what we got here, those 10 foot logs and that one like uh, 12 or 13 foot. All right, let's go in a little deeper, see what else we're gonna do. Okay, so I thought I was recording. I wasn't. I was just saying that I'm not going to film the whole cutting of these, but we're going to do that one right there in the center that's right on the trail. Um, there's one right there that needs to come down, two, three, and then I thought about doing that one, but I'm going to leave it. One of those is dead. Uh, the other small ones aren't, so we're going to cut those four and then add them to the pile. All right, I got hot and had to take my, well, not my shirt off, but my vest and then my outer layer. Actually, my vest was off when I started. But just to show you, those are the trees that we took down. There was one there. There was another one somewhere over there. One there, one there, and then that one there. And it just opened the easement up a little bit. And now we have bunch of 10 foot logs to build stuff with and some scrap for firewood and the easement is opened up nicely and get back here better um, all right I'm gonna go <laughs> drag these all up a hill I'll see you guys later all right I got the trailer unloaded I had to I'll show you where I put it I'm gonna leave these three logs uh, for my neighbor for firewood uh, because he let me borrow his trailer and I cleared a, another way up here. But the land is so soupy and muddy right now that I couldn't get the trailer up here. I did cut another tree down right there to make this path. You see where I slid down to get out of here last time. Um, and I'm exhausted. I was gonna do some more stuff, but carrying all these logs up here took it out of me. <sighs> And my chainsaw is dull. I was gonna cut, so do some more cutting um, up there, but I need to sharpen my chainsaw. It's gotten too dull. So over here, I just, uh, that log that split, I put these halves down uh, there and there, and then there's another one over there and over there. And then I put these down as like skids, approximately 10 feet apart and then laid everything across those and then the shorter stuff back across that um, just to keep everything off of the ground it's still going to get rained on but it'll it'll dry out some of it i'll use as firewood some of it i'll use as building materials and if you have ideas for what i should build with it leave them in the comments below all right guys we'll see you on the ridge okay.